Welcome to the overview of the Worldwide Telescope user interface. My name is Jonathan Fay. I'm a principal software architect at Microsoft Research, and I'm going to show you the user interface. First of all, there is the main view. The main view allows you to see the, uh, the full sky, panoramas, uh, planets, or the solar system all the way out to the known universe. By zooming in, you can uh, uh, use the mouse wheel or the plus and minus or page up and page down keys on the keyboard or roll the mouse wheel. To pan, you can use the arrow keys or drag with your mouse. There is also additional navigation controls. When you're zoomed in, you can use the overview control and click once to zoom out to see the entire constellation field of view. You can also click and hold down while you drag and you can have slow or fast navigation using the the sky ball. You can see that there's this information below that's available in the context panel. This shows you the current constellation you're in and what part of the sky you're pointing at. It also tells you the name of the constellation the field of view in degrees and the right ascension and declination or for planets latitude and longitude of the coordinates that you're at. You'll also notice that the context view fills up with the interesting objects that are there. By clicking on one of these you can jump to that object and actually have the virtual telescope slew there. Multiple pages of objects can be accessed by clicking on the forward and backwards buttons one page at a time. You can also filter the objects to specify what you want to see inside. The look at control controls what mode the view is at. So you can be looking at the sky, you can be looking at the earth, or you can be looking at the solar system. The Earth view and the solar system views work similarly to the sky view. This allows you to pan around, but you're actually rotating in 3D. You can also zoom in and zoom out. You'll notice the Milky Way in the background. Zooming out all the way in the solar system mode will actually let you see the star fields around our own solar system and then actually exit the Milky Way and fly out into the cosmos at large and see the data from the Sloan Digital Sky Survey for the large-scale structure of the universe. We'll return to the sky mode now. Anytime you're in the main view, you can hover over an object and get a quick identification, or you can right-click to get full information on this, as well as links to external information imagery and searches outside. You can also even copy a shortcut to be able to email it to a friend to be able to see that object. Let's go ahead and click close for now. This is uh, now going to go up to the tab system. Worldwide Telescope tabs have two portions. The top portion that lets you see the tabs and the bottom portion that brings up the corresponding menus for those tabs. So we've divided up into Explore, Guided Tours, Search, Community, Telescope, View, and Settings. Uh, Explore allows you to look at various imagery and catalog data that are provided by science missions and other astronomical uh, data repositories. You can click on things like Hubble Studies and click on a Hubble image and this will zoom in and show you that image on the screen overlaid on whatever your current background is selected. Once you have an image shown you can crossfade back and forth between that image and the background. Double clicking on an image goes to that image directly as fast as possible and as you'll notice that the background will have to load in and down below the progress indicator will show you how much of the imagery that's available has already downloaded. 
guided tours allow us to look at a set of tours that are created by professional astronomers, educators, or other enthusiastic, in this case one created by a six-year-old, who have used the built-in authoring tours in the Worldwide Telescope Windows client to create a walkthrough of their favorite objects and you can see a synopsis of the tour, find out who the author was, find out about the organization, and see other related tours. A searching allows you to quickly type in different object names or keywords and allows you to see that very quickly show up in a result set and then similarly any of these thumbnails can be clicked on. You can also go to a specific coordinate the same way the context search works down below, the search view button will capture all the objects that are currently uh, visible and uh, save them for you so that you can go through them one at a time. The community allows you to join a community to provide additional data to Worldwide Telescope and these are done by third parties who produce data that's compatible with Worldwide Telescope and want to publish it to their community base. Uh, telescope tab lets you connect up to a robotic telescope and control it. The view tab allows you to do things like uh, customize your view, uh, switching your constellation figures, boundaries, turning on things like equatorial grids and field of view indicators, configuring how you want to see your 3D solar system mode, or even changing where you're viewing th the sky from. So in this case, I can turn on the view from Microsoft Research Building 99, and we can browse around the sky as it looks at our current time and date from this location on the Earth. We can use the time control to go to a specific year, month, and date, hour, minute, and second, and change the sky uh, to be viewed from that location or we can use the clock to be able to speed up and actually watch things rotate on the sky. The settings tab allows us to do things like uh, configure and edit our constellation lines, change the way that we see Earth and planets, and change the way we experience Worldwide Telescope in things like how the mouse works, how we uh, handle zooms, and also allows us to change things on slower machines. We may want to go faster instead of sharper in terms of the trade-off between image quality and speed. We also can configure a network proxy and Worldwide Telescope caches all the data that you look at as you watch it to enable you to see it offline in the future and also make it much quicker when you come back to an area you've already seen before. Uh, lastly, the Worldwide Telescope menu items, each one of them can get you into more detail by cl clicking on the bottom portion of the tab and bringing up a menu. One of the more important ones is the Getting Started help page. This will bring up the online documentation that will tell you about all the functionality of Worldwide Telescope and let you drill in in detail and learn more about it. So you can use this in addition to our videos to learn more about Worldwide Telescope. Thanks for joining us and please enjoy.